And this is what we learned about on the BSN. In the book of Jonah, I learned that God pursues me no matter how far away I run from him or no matter what it takes. In the book of um, First and Second Samuel, I was just totally inspired by uh, Daniel as a role model and as someone who has faith in God. In the book of Numbers, I learned that God is organizational and he commands people to go places. And so how else would you lead your familiar people in the wilderness but to give them leaders and an order and a, a way to go and that God is powerful. Hello from, from the Deuteronomy, I learned about God's kingdom culture. I learned that it is not about the Chinese culture or Australian culture. Uh, we, um, we are not to look at people the way the world looks at them, but the way God looks at them. I want to bring kingdom culture to the nations. When we were reading Numbers 20, uh, God really showed me that even in my sin, He will always provide my needs, and even though He still provides, He doesn't let me go uh, undisciplined. In the book of John, I am just, I've never seen Jesus as a, uh, kind of as one who shows the example of ministry on earth. His kingdom, he pretty much plays it out as he comes to earth and he shows us that. In the book of Galatians, God really showed me that from the beginning I was already righteous in him and it's nothing that I have to earn, it's a gift that he's given me. Uh, before the BSN, I was really questioning, like, how do I experience God's love tangibly in my quiet times? Like, Lord, drop some love, drop some love. Um, but I found out that when Jesus left his disciples, the command he gave was love one another. And so actually, when I choose to love one another, I actually experience God's love for me personally as well. In 1 John, God really showed me that, yes, perfect love casts out all fear, but to live in fear is actually to allow yourself to live in torment. And so God really spoke to me about 